I want to now go to Roy R.C., the former New South Wales Aboriginal Land Council chair. He joins us live from the Central Coast. We spoke to you last week, Roy, about this uh, contested Indigenous heritage claim uh, in Blaney over the Goldmine Tailings Dam. Uh, we hear now that you and uh, your colleagues heading up land councils right around the state are going to gather in Orange to meet over these issues. What, why is the meeting happening and, and, and what's the key outcome you're looking for? Yeah, Chris, look, thanks for having me on your program. It's a, it's a very important conversation that uh, the leaders of our um, land rights network need to discuss because uh, what's happened, Chris, is that uh, uh, this land rights system that's been around since 1983 that, uh, you know, is, is very integral to Aboriginal people in the state of New South Wales has just been undermined just like that, you know. It's a, it's a decision that was made at the Commonwealth level. And, you know, uh, I, I'm open that we, we can all come together in Orange to have a serious discussion about what this really means for us moving forward. And, well, the, uh, well, the central yeah. point here, right, the central point that's been raised by this Blaney uh, Goldmine case is that you have the Orange Local Aboriginal Land Council that's approved a development on cultural heritage grounds and you've been overridden, they've been overridden by a federal minister listening, listening to another group, not the authorised body. So surely yeah. all your land council colleagues are wondering, well, what's the point of the land councils if governments aren't going to listen to us? Yeah, look, I, I think just, just for the record, Chris, uh, the, 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 land, the Orange Local Aboriginal Land Council wasn't opposed to the mine. Exactly. Right? They wasn't opposed. So what that says to me is that um, obviously they were happy with the, the, the surveys, the site assessments, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so... Uh, what's happened here is the, the, the minister at the Commonwealth level has listened to a, another group, and and that's very very concerning, because the land council is copping all this um, you know negative media about well what, why did you change your mind you know they went from the, the facts being known Chris they actually went from um, not supporting the the the, the, uh, the project to having a, a position of neutral. And the reason why they had a position of neutral is because the actual group that you're talking about were, um, you know, they... Some of the stuff they were putting out was fabrication. You know, it was, it was fabricated information and therefore the Land Council couldn't, uh, you know, they, 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 they had to change their position to be neutral, to, to not, not, not oppose the mine based on on that information and, and at the end of the day you, you can't fabricate information and, and expect to, to get a project um, you know stopped on that basis because it undermines uh, Aboriginal culture and heritage it undermines the land rights system and it un undermines our old people's um, genuineness for, for uh, culture and heritage and who speaks for country. Yeah, I think Tanya Plibersek and the federal government have to re-examine this case because of these claims of fabrication. They have to get to the bottom of it. But this meeting where you're pulling everyone together, are you looking to try and get that, to, to get the, the Blaney gold mine uh, process re-examined or have you given up on that and you're just looking for more certainty right across the board? Oh, I think it's more certainty right across the board. I think it's more about the process. Um, the Orange Local Aboriginal Land Council is really concerned about the process. Uh, and uh, like, like they said, they, they didn't oppose the mine. Uh, however, uh, this we, our land council system needs to come together now because the, for, the, for, the, for the minister to not even talk to the Local Aboriginal Land Council, that in itself... Is, is disrespectful. It's disrespectful to our voice. The land rights system was set up, Chris, to give Aboriginal people a voice in the state of New South Wales. It wasn't only uh, for recompense for uh, compensation and dispossession. It was set up to give Aboriginal people a voice in the state of New South Wales, and she, she hasn't even listened to our voice. Yeah, it's a big problem. Thanks for joining us again, Roy. I appreciate it. Roy, I see the RC there who was the former chair of the New South Wales Aboriginal Land Council.